have a uh, Xbox Series X in here today. Uh, this one had no power. Most of the time it is a power supply, so without even testing it, I went ahead and ordered the power supply. Uh, it's not like it's going to hurt me to have more in stock. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out here today. So we just got to get these back screws off here. There's one down here with um, a little piece of uh, warranty sticker there. And then, of course, you have a screw that's hidden underneath this sticker here. I'm just going to go ahead and get that off. I'm trying to make this look as clean as possible. Right there. Oh, hang on a second. Alright, so now that we got the sticker off and uh, the warranty sticker there, we can go ahead and take these screws out. These are T9 bits. All right, and then we have to get this back panel off here for this. You want to get something that's kind of flat. Um, I use the back of these tweezers. They're pretty beat up, but they work great. And you're just going to pull up. Make sure you don't go too far in or too far to the side here because you could break the little latch there that holds this together. And you don't want to do that. You're just going to lightly pull up on that. And then you just feed it, pulling up around the sides as you go up and then finally you just pull down and out uh, these are the little latches you have to look out for here it's pretty easy to break those all right so now that we have the back panel off uh, we can go ahead and start disassembling so you have to disassemble quite a bit actually in order to change the power supply out um, you're gonna have to take uh, these motherboards out here and so in order to do all that we need to get the screws out of here but what we're going to do first is get the bottom little plate off here. Uh, in order to get that off, there's a little tab inside of here that you have to pull out. And sometimes you can just turn it and get it off. And then sometimes you need to pry it. Let's see if we can turn it. Looks like it's working. So you just want to hold that tab out and just turn the bottom plate there until it comes off. All right, now that we have that off, we have access to the screws on the bottom, as well as the screws up here. So we're gonna go ahead and take these screws out. All right, so there's four screws right here. And then we have to take the screws out on the bottom here. So there's two green, uh, three green, my bad. Two green down here, one green up here, and then a black screw right here. We're just going to go ahead and take those out real quick. All right, and then in order to get this piece off here, I'll go ahead and show you here. There is a little tab right up in here, and you just want to push up on that. until this starts moving up. So now that it moved up a little bit, you can come in here and just kind of push up here. And then once we get to a certain point, there's a little opening right in here. And we can just pry that up there. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and pull this out. And that gives us access to pull out the uh, disk drive here. All right, so now we can take the fan out. It's just one connector here. You don't want to move it up and down or anything like that or forward and back the way that you're looking at it here. You just want to pull out as straight as possible and you can kind of wiggle it side to side like this. Just don't go up and down because you don't want to break that connector. And then we need to get these ribbons out here. So this bigger one here has like a little pull plate on it. Pull latch, you just want to pop open. So now that that's popped open, we can go ahead and pull this out, and that breaks 90% of the time. So we're just going to get under it, just pull up, and then the piece of tape right here, just pull that up, get that out of the way for now. For this one, we have to push in the little tab, and 
then we just pull up very carefully on that and then we got that one out and now we're going to go ahead and take the cables off of the disk drive here so this one just pops out this one pops out too sometimes it's easier sometimes it's not so this one was easier if it's not easier you can always use some pliers and carefully pull up on that just don't pull too hard and the disk drive comes straight out all right now that we have this is basically free floating in here now because we took the screws out on the bottom as well so now we're just going to move it back probably like a quarter inch and then just pull straight up and we can put the box to the side the xbox box all right now we're here to the inside this is the uh, power supply here um, so now we need to gain access to that and it's uh, so it goes over the top right here this is where you actually plug it in and then where it's plugged into the motherboard is actually underneath this um, aluminum plate right here so we're going to need to get access to that first thing we want to do is go ahead and take off this rubber little thing here which doesn't really do anything but it's there all right and then we're going to need to take the screws out of here there's three on there all right now that we have those three screws out we can go ahead and pop that little plate off it just comes straight out like so and then we're going to need to be taking all these screws out all along here and also on the power supply there's two on this side two on this side one of them's underneath this little cover here um, these three are long this one's a short one so we can go ahead and take those out They also have medium screws. There's a medium screw here, here, and here. The longer screws are going to be a gray color, a matte gray color. Short screws are going to be black. And the medium screws, medium screws will be like a, a shiny silver color. You just want to remember where they all go. You don't want to screw something in the wrong place. I need to get a new battery on, on this guy. Sorry, we'll take this apart and then get it. Out. Final screw over here. All right, now that we have all those screws out there, um, we can go ahead and start taking it apart. So the first thing we're going to do is just release this. You just pull up here and then we're going to need to open up this plastic piece right here. You can just pull up on this edge until that's open and we're just going to feed this cable up. Now that we have that up, this plate here will be loose. You don't want to just pull up because you can damage these um, cables here. So we're just going to kind of slide out and pull that off. And now we have full access to get the power supply changed out. What we're going to do first is we're going to open up this little plastic latch here. And then we can undo this little cable here. And now we're going to need to take out the power supply itself, which there's a little latch inside of here. We just need to push that in and pull up. That way that we can release that power supply there. All right, so there is the old power supply, which I'm guessing 90%, I think I'm right, that it's dead. So, and I could always test them too, um, but I just found out in the past that most of the time the power supply itself is the only thing that goes out when these systems die, unless if you pour liquid inside of it. Um, so we went ahead and ordered a uh, new power supply here this box here I'm gonna pull this out all right and there's our new one 
right here, and it looks like I don't have dates on here. I'm kind of surprised. 16th of January 2023. So it must be a new, brand new power supply, which is nice. Normally people try to uh, refurbish them, and it's always sketchy when that happens. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it up. So we're gonna plug that cable back in there. You just push down, and it just pops in nice. You hear a little click. Sometimes, sometimes it's harder to do. It's, uh... There we go. So that's clicked in there. We can go ahead and lay this back down here. And there's little guides on either side. One right here and one on the other side. I'm just gonna slide those back into those guides. Now that we have those in there, we can go ahead and move this cable here and plug this little one back in. And then we're just going to feed this through this little uh, area here. This is actually the newest power supply I've ever seen. Kind of surprised. And then we just want to fold this latch back down to hold those in place. Now we're going to put our aluminum plate back on here. Just want to slide it in the same way we took it out, just be very careful. And then we're going to slide this cable back in here. I'm trying to think. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put it in this way. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and fold that. Ooh. You gotta lay this flat, a little bit more flat. This thing's brand new. Wow, I'm really surprised. All right. So now that we have that, that back in there, we can go ahead and start screwing stuff down. I always like to do the long screws first because it holds the entire thing together. Alright, now I'm going to do the medium screws. The only reason I do these ones next is because it holds this little power connector in really well. And then we can do all the small screws. So just remember that this one had a cover over the top of it, so we want to put a small screw in. Once we have that small screw in, we can go ahead and grab that cover and another small screw and just line it up on that peg and line the screw up in the little slot there like so and now we can go ahead and screw that in then we're just going to screw in the rest of them all around the sides in here it just slides in there with the little connector and then we can go ahead and screw that back on you want to make sure that when you screw this together if you are using hand tools that's fine too you don't need to use a drill just be careful when you do this because if you're using a drill or something and you go to screw it on the plate can turn and if it if you tighten it too much on the side and it turns and pulls up um, I have a feeling I haven't seen it before but I have a feeling that it could break that connector in there
All right, now that we have it all screwed back together, we can go ahead and put the useless little rubber part back on. And you're just gonna take this little side here, the flatter side with the little hook edge, and slide it down. And then you can go ahead and wrap this around. There's little holes in the heat sink here where these little notches go. And then there's a little latch on this side that you connect to the small latch on the side inside of there. And then over the top, there's three areas that can be connected and then you just latch it back to where you began underneath. Now we'll go ahead and put it back in the Xbox box. You just want to move these cables out of the way. You don't want to damage those. Just slide it in. And just kind of jimmy it until you can slide it down into the place. And on the bottom here, there's little guides. These little metal guides here. Those are what guide it into place. And then, just to keep it still, I always throw the fan back in because the fan latches in there perfectly. And we can go ahead and connect the fan connector and then we can pop this ribbon back in this one you can just push down and it just pops in for this one we might have to open that gate again it closes a lot so we'll just open that back up tape it down and we'll just push it in until it sits nice and then we just close that gate back up now we can put the disk drive back in. So this one, sometimes it sits right, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta wiggle it back and forth until it sits into place like this. And then you just connect those little connectors back up. And then we can put the little tray thing over the top of that. And just push down over here in this corner in order to lock that in. Now we can start putting the screws back in. So as you remember, there's three small black screws here. And then one bigger one right here in the middle to hold the fan down to the system. All right. And then on the bottom here, we have to put the black screw back in here and then the three green screws here. Go ahead and put those in. Now when it comes to putting the bottom plate on, I think you can put either side up, the one that says hello from Seattle or the Xbox One, um, but you just, whenever you go to put it on, you're just going to kind of tilt it to the side like this and just kind of move it back and forth until these little latches in here find their way into the holes at the bottom here. And then once you do that, you're just going to turn it to the right until it clicks like that. And last thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the back piece back on. So you're going to want to slide it in the top here. And then as it goes down, it'll click into place. You want to push these two bottom tabs in so you don't break those. And then just push and it snaps in. And then we have two more screws, which are the green machine screws. Put those ones back in. And that is it. That is how you replace the power supply on an Xbox Series X. Now, like I said, 90% of the time it's the power supply. Uh, whenever these consoles go dead, um, it's the power supply that causes the issues. It could always be something else. Um, but just from my experience, every time that I've gotten one of these, I just replace the power supply and they work fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and test it out now and make sure that it's working.